All right, y'all, so we finally did it. We got over 1,000 subscribers on the channel. Uh, I know I've sort of taken a break from YouTube. Like, I got my CDL and stuff for the business. Uh, right now I'm out here in Colorado. That's, you can't see if the edge of Pikes Peak is right there. Out at my buddy's place. And uh, yeah, I hope to be uh, filming some new stuff here soon. I got a, a little shop back at the house, but I'm expanding. And most of it's like, you know, my dad's shop. It's like where I, where I started the whole channel. I was working out of that. So, I got that. Fucking planes. Um, I got that going on. You know, I'm hot shotting, so I'm all over the place at once. Uh, I kind of want to get like a little time lapse cam on my dash of like all the places I go because it's pretty scenic. Like, you wouldn't believe some of the stuff I see. Fuck, it's so bright out here. But, you know, it, most of it looks like, you know, screensavers or pictures on a wall. It doesn't look real. It's pretty insane. But, yeah. Just figuring everything out. You know, we finally hit 1,000 subs, so we're pretty close to, you know, getting money on YouTube again, which, you know, I don't think it's going to come like anything else, but if it does take off, that's going to be pretty sick. Uh... You know, I used to make money on YouTube before they changed the rules with some of my, like, exhaust videos that went somewhat viral at, like, you know, 60,000 views. I mean, not viral, but, you know, in the car community, someone sees an exhaust video and it's like, oh, wow. It gets shared a lot, but, um, yeah, I mean, I'm really excited about all this stuff. Making money again and getting back into drifting. You know, getting the, the S chassis running, of course, which, you know, that's a whole long deal. You know, I still have the, the super bottom end for the, uh, well, Aristo bottom end for the GS300. And, uh, yeah. Still have a six-speed swab I haven't done, you know, shit like that. Getting around to it, though. It's pretty much just a little update video, you know. Uh, the last video I had was kind of like a life update, and then things sort of went, you know, south after that. But now, things are picking back up. I got my CDL. Like I, I could get a semi and drive it right now. I just don't have the, uh, the funds for a whole ass semi. And the one I want is kind of cool. It's like you know, a '90s uh, Freightliner Classic. Got to get them saw blades. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, we're just gonna be moving right along. Hopefully, get some new videos up. I'm trying to get a laptop, uh, mostly for the business, but I could use it for this as well, which would be helpful. And then uh, I'd be able to do everything on the road at that point. So I wouldn't really need to go home that much, but, you know, it'd be nice to relax. I like being on the road. It's pretty sick, honestly. Uh, freight's really down right now if you're in the hotshot world or, f you know, trucking in general. It's hard to find shit that's fucking $1.30 a mile, which is pretty much most people's baselines unless they have, like, a bunch of debt. Then, you know, they're up at got to be $2 a mile, shit like that. I mean, it's hard to find partials, it's hard to find, you know, committed loads or dedicated loads. And since I don't have that kind of overhead, I do take shit. I don't like doing it, but, you know, if you can at least get two things that are a dollar a mile, then all right, fine. But that's still, that's two different stops, dealing with two different brokers normally. A lot of bullshit. Fucking planes. God damn. Getting close to an airport sucks sometimes. But yeah, uh, you know, being a business owner, learning a whole lot. Uh, like I said, I, I do, I am going to do, you know, car work, fabrication, and builds again. Uh, but I got a, I got a whole shop that I'm building. I'm thinking it's going to be 30 by 40 to start, and then I might build onto it. But I have like family property kind of where it's all happening uh in Arkansas you know where I'm from and then doing this having the uh, equipment I can go wherever I want uh for events and whatnot which I love the events in Georgia Georgia's events were fucking sick Arkansas is just now having events in Stuttgart which I didn't even know about till last week uh I didn't go but still it's gonna be cool I mean getting back into everything I mean finally finally moving along but one step at a time. And uh, I'll probably have some videos coming up here soon of me doing some uh, 
mechanic work, explaining some of the things. Uh, I think the last two things I did with this was the uh, 2JZ timing belt and maybe one other thing, like showing off some brakes, but moving along, I'll have uh, more shit like that, fabrication, and I mean, really, people aren't working on cars like they used to. They're just doing, trying to do builds, and I don't know, it seems crazy, but anyway, keep it real, stay cheesy.